So we're gonna do a quick uh, little account review with them for their total IT care. And then uh, just kind of make that warm introduction here with Denton, just to talk about their uh, print environment. Uh, this is actually the first time we're going into this uh, account here. So I'm gonna introduce myself, kind of let her know what we do with uh, the print management side. Just kind of plant the seed on why it's important to kind of have everything on a managed service and why to kind of have everything standardized. Sales is hard, right guys? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. So what keeps you going? It is tough, it's hard. You got people that are uh, pulling you 20 different directions, but at the end of the day, I mean, it is. It's, it, you're getting paid for uh, what you're putting into it. Hey Evan, what just happened? Uh, well, unfortunately, we had an appointment that was scheduled, was accepted, and uh, you know, this is part of the whole gig, uh, you know, Every once in a while, when you show up there, they're not here to take a left. You, you try to have this uh, not happen as much as it possibly can by sending, you know, calendar requests. You know, every once in a while, something comes up. So this is just one of the many challenges. So Denton, what's what's another challenge of being a, an account executive? Another thing is just when you're grinding on the phone and you're just not getting anywhere. Uh, just there's times whenever you're you're gonna groove and you're making appointments, you're getting a hold of people and like you're just like, oh man, life's great, building the pipeline. But then there's other days where you get voicemail after voicemail after voicemail or you finally get a hold of somebody and you have a, you think it's gonna go well and then they hang up on you like right. halfway through. And so it's just kind of getting through those challenges and making sure it's not affecting you mentally whenever you're just picking up the phone and grinding. What you need to do is you just need to mentally reset, take a break, grab a snack even, and then go back at it with a different attitude. Because yeah. that's the biggest thing is attitude in this job too, because whatever you whatever you are receiving, your customer is picking up on that. And if you're not excited about your product and if you're not excited about what you're doing, your customer is going to know, the client's going to know, and it's going to kind of shut them down too. So. So uh, just making sure you're in a mentally good attitude whenever you're going at it. What are we doing? So we are going out and going to go do some prospecting in the form of cold calling. So we're going to go to a certain part of my territory and just go door to door, drop off some information, gather information on uh, who they are, who I need to reach out to for my telemarketing, as well as uh, try to just look around in the business too to kind of see what information I can grab while I'm having the conversation with the gatekeeper to uh, to kind of drive business and get appointments out of it. I actually like cold calling. I, uh, like cold calling right when you started? When I first started, I kind of made me nervous, not gonna lie. You kind of try to mix what everybody does to kind of make that perfect like talk track slash getting in front of people so that you can kind of get past there and build those relationships. Mm -hmm. Because what works for me might not work for David, what might not work for Ryan, but you can pick up on some of the stuff that does and kind of tailor it to exactly how you need to, to, to be successful. So then sometimes even when you cold call, it turns into, two, turns into an appointment, which is great because then you get way more information than you would in, our, in an initial cold call. And I'm having more success starting with a cold call and then going through the phone because people don't want to be called and bugged all the time. They'd rather have an actual person show up than just sit and get hammered by the phone. So it's kind of going away from the trend of the telemarketing is the best way to go to actually getting out in front of people and making yourself known that way. This one, we're just gonna go in and try to get a hold of the gentleman I've been trying to work with for a while. This is actually my first ever uh, client. So we're doing a quick uh, review with them uh, and then uh, just kind of introducing uh, um, Denton here just to try to get on their uh, copiers as well. We're just gonna kind of go through uh, just a quick review of our IT, just what we've done this month, what, uh, you know, this quarter. And then also, you know, just really get in front of anything, uh, not letting anything fester with a client if they do have an issue. Uh, just kind of getting that out in the open because the worst thing that could possibly happen is some other schmo like me comes in there and you know promises to treat them different and I don't know anything about it. So um, I mean that's that's really what we do in these quarterly reviews. Keep customer happy.
And when you go in there, it's really nice to feel like the New England Patriots, where you go in there, you know you're better than everybody else. You know your product, you know your service is better than everyone else. And that's what really gets me excited. 